Okay, so this is another a new tutorial. Exciting tutorials, I should say. So I'm gonna show you how to uh, make an animation in a movie and put some sound in the animation. Yes, I got Cam Studio. Now it's all beautiful. So be sure that these are the these. This is the size of the the window, the workspace area. And 12, pr 12 frames per second, it's the speed the frames are gonna play. The default is 12. I, I like it like that. So first, you gotta import a movie file. And not import to library, but simply import. So it's gonna stick right into the drawing space. So you can you browse a movie file you have on your computer. I capture it with uh, Windows Movie Maker. So importing can be long. Well, it was long, so I, ac I accelerated this part of the movie because it was twice more long than that. Once it's all imported, you will have a message appearing telling you that you need a number of frames uh, blah 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 and you just click yes so first thing you want to do when you import the movie you gotta lock your layer because you don't want the the, win the movie window to to move or anything so you lock it so uh, you can't select it or anything so it won't move during the animation so you can see me, just look stupid because there's nothing happening. So you want to draw something in the movie. You gotta insert a layer since uh, the movie layer is locked. And be sure that this layer is on top because it's, it's, if it's under the movie layer, you won't be able to see what you just draw, drew, whatever. So once the layer is on top, you can animate. And that's where the tricky part begins. <laughs> okay. So I just pressed F7. Usually I zoom at 400%, uh, but since the window was very little, I decided to zoom 200%. Uh, so you're gonna see me make some frames. And yeah, I wanted to make the the stick man comes from coming come from behind the printer so uh, you gotta erase all the parts that are supposed to be behind it i just press the uh, outline tool so you can see behind the stick guy but i don't usually that because it's very long but just to show that you gotta be aware of the objects the stick man comes to pass by So you're gonna see me uh, make like two or three frames. This is kind of boring, so I decided to uh, have some fun and make the stickmen explode. <laughs> so there, I had just made a beautiful stickman exploding animation. Outstanding. But now, how do you put sound in the animation? First, you gotta import to library a song or a sound that you want in your animation in my case I used a song to make a great music video and then you find the frame that in which you want the sound to begin to play so if you want the song to begin uh, after 
one second you can choose the 12th frame and once you've uh, chose the frame you gotta select the sound you imported but I had trouble with the window okay so you go select the sound you just imported right there so it's gonna begin to play at this frame and uh, when you press enter to play it's, the sound's gonna play right there but the only way I know to stop the music from playing one when you're in flash it's to click on edit right there and the song's gonna stop to play otherwise I don't know how to stop it and once you're in edit uh, you can have fun with the the sound you can do some fade in and you can play with the speakers from which the song is gonna come out but it's not really important yeah not important so that's about everything you need to know to put a sound in the animation and uh, since you've been very gentle and listened to all this I'm gonna show you something you might like yes I begin to make the cliff too <laughs> So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope I answered uh, the questions about the music and all the music and all that. And if you got some questions to ask me, shoot. <laughs> so uh, goodbye and uh, again, thanks for watching.